So hello and let's dive into it. Today I'm going to be troubleshooting to see if my incoming power is going to be coming on. And what I'm looking for is 240 volts, okay? And then after I finally get my 240, I'm going to test to see if I have 120 on each line. That's normally how we go about our electrical troubleshooting, uh, placing uh, my ground and uh, my hot uh, meter, uh, my leads onto the uh, the, the screws um, to test for uh, 120 on each line uh, that will give you a true uh, power source so again this is how we normally go about our troubleshooting normally um, it is best to always test your power once you have turned on your um, power uh, even though your power is on it doesn't necessarily mean that um, it is um, power at the uh, unit so what I normally do, like I said, I will go about uh, testing most of my uh, units. Uh, disconnect, whether it be my um, disconnect, uh, I'm going to uh, test anything, even if it's um, my um, electrical panel, whether it be a 400 amp panel, 200 amp panel, uh, I'm going to test anyways to make sure that my, my true power is there and when I say uh, true power uh, this is what true power is so hello and welcome back to Fabian Electrical Services and again what we have in today's video is an installation of uh... so it's going to be an installation of electrical conduit again we're going to be following the electrical code book today for all rules when it comes to installing my 60 amp two pole disconnect my 60 amp sorry my 60 amp non-fusible uh, disconnect the disconnect is going to be rated for uh, again 60 amps and the um, 